Good day. Hello. Hello, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you doing today? Fine, teacher. And you? I'm doing fine. Thank you for asking. A little tired, but I'm okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. It's good to see Hi, you. Good evening, teacher. good evening. How are you doing? I'm feeling, thank you. I feel good. Good. Feeling good. Excellent. And the rest of you? How was your day? Have you practiced on the platform? Have you been doing the exercises? Yeah, I'm working today oh, in the exercise. Good evening. Okay, very good. Good evening, Reina. How are you today? Did you have a good day, Reina? Okay, it's good to see you here, everybody. How was your day, Walter? Excuse me, teacher. How was Good evening, your day? teacher? Everything okay, teacher? It's an amazing day for me. It was an amazing day for me, yes. It's good to hear that. What about yeah. you, Reina? Excuse me? How was your day? Uh, I'm fine, you... teacher. Okay, good. All right. I'm so fine, thank you. It's good to know that. Right, I resent the presentations inside, added a couple of slides. So I'm going to share my screen so we can continue here. Okay, so yesterday uh, we were discussing about some common health complaints, right? Can you see my screen? Yes, teacher. Okay, so we were discussing this vocabulary and for today we have this conversation. So we're going to listen to the one that we have in the platform and then we're going to practice. So just let me get right here. Okay, let's listen. Hello, welcome back. Now that we have gone over health-related words, we're ready to listen to them in context. Also, pay attention to suggestions given when we get sick. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck. That sounds awful. Okay. Totally agree, teacher. Garlic soup uh -huh. is awful. Uh, okay. <laughs> Garlic soup. Have you tried that? I don't like it how to smell. 
Oh, you didn't like the smell. Yeah. Okay. Mm. How about bread and garlic? So you you dislike garlic at all, or um, can you eat the uh, bread with garlic? Yes, all in Pizza Hut. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, so <laughs> hmm, that's good. And what about the rest of you? What do you think? Or you have any question about the conversation? Questions? No questions? Okay, let me share my screen again so you can watch the conversation. Uh, this is kind of a slow today. <sighs> okay, here we have the conversation. Any other question or comment about the conversation? No questions? No question. Teacher. Yes? Sure. Helpful. ¿Qué quiere decir? Helpful. Es de, de mucha ayuda. Mm -hmm. Ok. Okay, so if there are no more questions, I'm going to create the section group so you can practice this conversation. Let me one moment. I see 18 people connected. Uh, breakout rooms. Four, five, three, four. Well, well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really worked. Jack, that sounds awful. Okay. Did you, uh, were you able to share the screen? No, you teacher. Tried? No, traten otra vez. Ya hice lo que me mandaron por chat. Sí, ahorita sí ya se puede. Oh, yes. Yes, teacher. Thank awesome. you. Awesome. <laughs> oh, what happened then? Ana oh. Trinidad has started the screen sharing. 
Okay, Ana va a compartir. Awesome, okay. cool okay. that we were able to. <laughs> thank you, teacher. Yeah, thank you. No, 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 el coso ese, pero it worked. <laughs> it's really work. Yeah, it really worked. <laughs> okay, okay, Ana, con, con dale. I am Joan. Okay. Hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And you um, have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken. Each chicken chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yeah, that sounds awful. Okay, again the new. Dalia conmigo, okay. Um change. Yeah. Okay. okay. Hi Craig, how are you? Not so good. I have a terrible cold. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's some, sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just ch chop up chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. Ahora practiquen con la teacher. Vamos, niña Ana. Usted, Walter, yo, usted, usted, Joan, y yo, Gray. Ah, ok. Oh, yo pienso. Yes. Ah, hi, Craig. How are you? Not so good. I have a terrible call. Really? That's too bad. You should be at home in my bed. It's really important to get a lot of rest. Yeah, you're right. And have you taken anything for it? No, I haven't. Well, it's something helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it, it really works. Yuck, that sounds awful. <laughs> Okay, no, 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 oh, you did it better. So no más rapidito, más fluido. And that is with because you're practicing more. Yes. <laughs> Sound good. <laughs> okay. Podría usted leer esa parte de Joan, la penúltima, porfa. Well, then they say, well. Yes. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. It really works. Uh huh. Yeah. So you say, well, and there is a, hay una pausa cortita. Well, it's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. Just chop up a whole head of garlic and cook it in a chicken stock. Try it. El chop, chop up es como machacar. Mm, chop up. Yeah, es, es mm, picar. Ah, uh, okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, wall head. A uh, wall is entera. Wall head. Uh, Una toda la cabeza. De... Uh, oh, <laughs> <laughs> yeah. In a sopa de pollo. Quiere que eche eso. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Teacher, stuck es, suena como a, a pedazos, no sé. Uh, Chicken uh, stuck. Uh, me imagino, es como. Con piezas. Oh. Eh, oigo los, eh, eh, es caldo. Uh -huh. Ok. Tengo dos. Y es yes, caldo. Ok. Caldo, stock. Stock. Ajá. Uh -huh. Hay otra palabra, es brought. But yes, stock is more used. Uh -huh. 
Chicken okay. stock is caldo de pollo. Yes, caldo de pollo. It's like a chicken soup. Mm, eh, yes, you, you, I, I have, tengo la idea de que los caldos son como más espesos. Más espesos, sí. Ajá. Solo eh, el agua y no verdura. Yes, but, <laughs> por ejemplo, el caldo de res, hay, hay gente que les licúa como la carne, hace como licuada. Mm -hmm. Y ajá, es como la pura agua de, del res, pero lleva uh -huh. como licuada eh, carnita y se hace como más espesito y no lleva ni verduras. Uh -huh. Okay. okay. Ya, yeah. you can say, um, ya le puedo escribir, creo que puedo escribir o no. Eh, ¿Dónde Dejo está? Compartir su... No, yo creo que, ah, sí, aquí está el, el chat. So, es... Ese es, el otro es chicken broth. Es más eh, común decir chicken broth. Chicken, oh, mm -hmm. chicken broth. Sí, sí ven el, el mensaje. Sí, sí, sí. Yes. Ok, ajá. Ese es chicken también. broth. Chicken broth, uh, ese yo lo he escuchado más que, que chicken stock. Mm -hmm. Es como, eh, broth suena como la abreviación de brother. Yeah, chicken broth. Y eso es no como olvidar, más fácil de no, pronunciar. No se me va a olvidar, no se me va a olvidar. Uh, yes. Ya no. nosotros de edad grande por palabra me toca asociar para no olvidar. Dicho. No, pero es a, it's a, it's a, it's a good. Yo... What is that? <laughs> a new, a new pet. Teacher, me dejó a medias, teacher. Me estaba peor que estaba, me estaba inspirando ahí en el inglés. I am sorry. Um, yeah. Were you able to uh, share the screens now, right? Hoy sí pudieron compartir pantalla, ¿verdad? Yes. Yes, I did it. Y gracias ahí que mandaron el tip, eh, la indicación an an anoche vi que mandaron y, y sí, funcionó. Eh, gracias. Y sí, ahora voy a ver otra cosa, porque antes cuando era finalizar, daba como un minuto para que ustedes terminaran lo que estaban haciendo, pero ahora me saca de un solo. <risa> sí, ¿verdad? nos da notificación. Hoy, hoy. Fue mal educado el, 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 la, la aplicación. Sí, lo saca de un solo. Entonces, vamos a buscar eso ahí. Si hay alguien ahí, algo tech que nos ayude también, <ríe> se vale. A mí no mucho esto. So, so, antes ya estaba seteado todo eso. Entonces, nosotros solo buscábamos los botones y ya. Pero ahora como que se ha desconfigurado algo, pero ahí vamos batallando. Uh, yes, I saw that most of you were practicing, vi que estaban practicando y entre más repiten, pues van haciendo lo más fluido. And uh, that was good. So I don't know if there are volunteers to, to role play the conversation for the class or if you have any question about pronunciation or vocabulary, you can go ahead and ask. Vocabulary teacher, yes, yes, chop, 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 yes, chop up, chop, chop up, yeah. chop, chop up, repeat, chop, chop up. up, yeah. Mm -hmm. What I mean, chop up? Picar. Ah, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. That is chop up. Any other question? Only chop up. Only chop up. Juke. Wow. Uh, that is an expression like nosotros en Spanish, como haríamos un guía. Ajá. Ajá. Como. Tras, tras, eh, 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 translate that one, translate yuck to Spanish. Guacala. Guacala. <laughs> Ya, yeah, es solo la expresión como para decir que algo nos parece mm, asqueroso. Es solo una expresión. Mm -hmm. Do you like garlic, teacher? I love it. Pero no se tiene una cabeza entera de ajo en chicken. A lot of garlic, garlic or a few garlic. Eh, I like to put garlic in, in 
in pasta, in soup and bread, delicious, delicious. Yeah. yeah. I, yes. I really like it, but I think that a, a whole head of garlic, I couldn't. <laughs> I couldn't make it. No, no, una cabeza entera de ajo, creo que no, creo que demasiado. Try it. Really? <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, uh, they, they say that garlic is good when you have uh, any kind of um, infections. Yeah, yeah, they they said the garlic is like an antibiotic. Uh, use a person who suffering the high blood pressure, teacher. Ah, yes, it helps yeah. people with high blood pressure. Yes. So, I, I can really gusto la <laughs> Yeah. Yes. Question. Uh, um, and ultima dice yuk yuk that sound awful toda la palabra que decir que asco que es eso suena mal eh, y estaba buscando la última palabra solo la última palabra dice que es horrible yes es awful 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 is is awful uh -huh. yeah it's like in spanish Pero when you say guacala eso suena asqueroso yeah it's ah, like that. It's yeah, <laughs> that sounds awful. Mm -hmm. Good. Okay. Any other question? Yes, teacher. What is the meaning of whole? Well, it's entero or entera. Okay, thanks. Hey, yeah, that one is in the milk cartons, right? Whole milk. Teacher, what is the difference between whole and all? Oh. Whole and all. Uh, whole and all. Cuando lo, cuando lo hablamos decimos de todo. Pienso cuando decimos eso, todo. Ah, uh, yeah. All. Whole. whole and all. Yeah, it's, it's, uh, you can say a whole head of garlic. Es como se está refiriendo a, a, a una completo. cabeza a completo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Okay. Ajá, uh -huh, pero all es like, um, eh, todo, no podría decir all the garlic, porque es como decir todo el ajo, uh -huh. pero como me estoy refiriendo a, 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 a la cabeza de ajo, entonces a decir entero es, es whole, y okay. all es todo. Ajá, uh -huh, uh -huh. so, sí, hay una diferencia en el significado de ambos. Uh -huh. Es similar a lo que se refiere, pero, pero. In Spanish, uh, make sense. Yes. Both it, words. Yeah. Yes. In Spanish, I like, but whole, veamos whole como completo. Mm -hmm. Y all, todo. Ajá. Uh -huh. Si sí, se tiende a haber una diferencia. Uh -huh. ¿Será que lo define una unidad en caso de whole, teacher? Mm, yes. A un quantifier. A un quantifier? Yes, for a quantifier like that. Mm -hmm. Okay. Y all is como más general, I think. Mm -hmm. That's a good difference. Uh, okay. ¿A qué se refiere, teacher, eh, donde dice cookie in chicken stock? Chicken stock. No uh, entiendo usted, a qué se refiere. Chicken stock es el caldo de pollo. Stock es como el caldo, entonces. El caldo, sí. Uh, el caldo es más, no, la sopa es diferente, ¿verdad? La sopa lleva ingredientes, verduras y todo eso. El caldo es la pura esencia de, ya sea no, pollo o de red, ya la agüita. <risa> la agüita con la grasita del pollo y eso, ok. Y la cabeza de ajo. <risa> ok, so, uh, we will continue. I added this slide. Um, so, because we're going to study how do we use adjectives followed by two plus infinitive to express feelings or reactions. This is what we're gonna be studying. And we have a video on the platform about this, which is the 2.3. We're going to watch the video and then explain a little bit more on that topic. Teacher. Yo con esto de los eh, infinity verbs eh, entendí que 
son como que no tienen una forma en pasado ni presente, sino que solo se utilizan en su forma natural, agregándoles el tú antes, y eso los hace un infinitivo, ¿verdad? That is Así correct. Sí. Uh -huh. Ok. Ok, let us watch the video. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important. Hi, in this session, infinitive complements will be taught. Infinitive complements are used to ask and give advice. I will give you a quick example right now. What should I do for a cold? It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. And stay with us and join the explanation after the audio program. Infinitive complements. What should you do for a cold? It's important to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C. Remember when we talk about infinitives, we refer to a verb with no conjugation. So notice that we use to plus verb within our suggestions or advice. So if you want to give an advice to someone, you should do it this way. It is helpful to go to the doctor. It is important to drink lots of water. It's a good idea to take cough drops. Okay, so with this, uh, when we are using this structure, using infinitive, uh, what your classmate said, it is very important that we're not going to modify or conjugate the verb. Um, for example, if the verb is to be, you know that we, we're going to use it like that. No lo vamos a split into am, um, is, or are. Right? Mm -hmm. uh, so, for example, if you want to say, es importante estar a tiempo en el trabajo, ¿cómo lo dirían en inglés usando el infinitive? It is important to arrive early at the work. Yeah, to arrive, pero está... To, to be. To be, to yes. Be. To, to be. be, ah, okay. Yes, it is okay. important to be on time at okay. work. Mm -hmm. So we're not changing the verb. We are using it the, in, the, in the infinity form. No changes, no conjugations, okay? And that is an important point about this. And in this unit, we are going to use um, adjectives uh, before the infinity forms. Estamos utilizando adjectives y luego un infinitive. Uh, but uh, it, they are normally used to, use, to express feelings or reactions. In this case, we are going to use them also to give advice, right? So we find some adjectives followed by the to plus the infinity form of the verb to express feelings or reactions. The most commonly used adjectives are clever, difficult, easy, hard, impossible, nice, possible, right, strange, word, etc. The structure is the adjective potentially followed by a noun or a noun phrase, and then it would be followed by uh, two plus the infinitive. And we have one example here. It's expensive to buy. Expensive can be followed by the two and infinitive form to buy, right? The adjective here is expensive. And then we have the infinitive. Uh, not all the adjectives can be followed by two plus the infinitive. Um, esto lo vamos a, a ver más adelante para no confundirnos. There's a chart list of adjectives. All right, then we have this uh, infinitive complement, right? So questions so far? Tienen alguna pregunta por acá? No? No questions? No questions. For the moment, no questions. Okay, good. So, uh, infinitive, well, we have this uh, structure, right? The uh, adjective, infinitive, 
noun or infinitive then. And we have a couple of examples with this question. What should you do for a cold? Okay. Eh, vamos a ver si la podemos hacer más grandecita. Yeah, okay. Teacher. Oh, sorry. Yes? Se escucha como que alguien tiene encendido el micrófono. No sé si lo pueden. Okay. Thank you Thank so you. much. Right. So, in this, we see... Um, es, me estormó un poquito la barrita de arriba. Quiero ver si la puedo mover sin pausar la recording. <laughs> Okay. Está grabando. Yes. Okay. What should you do for a call? It's important to get a lot of rest. So you see the adjective here is important. Then the infinitive to get a lot of rest. It's sometimes helpful. The adjective here is helpful. Then the infinitive to eat garlic soup. It's a good idea to take some vitamin C, right? So we're going to practice by looking at this health problem and choose several pieces of advice for each problem. So you can choose more than one. You can do that in your notebook. I'll give you time and then we're going to share what you have. For example, we have problems. Let us repeat. We can practice pronunciation now. Um, a sore throat. A sore throat. A, sore throat. a cough. A cough. It's como con F, a cough. A cough. A cough. A cough. Yes, a cough. A backache. A backache. A fever. A fever. A toothache. A toothache. A bad headache. A bad headache. A burn. A burn. The flu. A flu. Take some vitamin C. Take some vitamin C. Put some ointment on it. Put some ointment on it. Drink lots of liquids. Drink lots of liquids. Go to bed and rest. Go to bed and rest. Go to bed and rest. Put a hidden pad on it. Put a hidden pad on it. Put it under cold water. Put it under cold water. Take some aspirin. Take some aspirin. See a dentist. See a dentist. See a doctor. See a doctor. Get some medicine. Get some medicine. medicine. Did you find any new word? Yeah, ointment and pad. A pad. A, okay, ointment is unguento. Ah, okay. Uh, yes, unguento crema, ointment. And pad is como un, uh, ay, como un parche. Oh. Um, uh, uh, yes, a uh, hidden pad. Uh, a mí me gustaba usar uno de esos parche. ¿Cómo se llamaba? Parche. León. Parche. <laughs> 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 yes, that is. It's it, really like, it really works. It really works, yes. Mm -hmm. Uh, that is a, a hidden pad. It's como una almohadilla, right? Mm. Uh, it can be una almohadilla or un parche de esos conocido como Teacher. Yes? What is the meaning of a package? Backache. Okay, backache, backache is el dolor de espalda. Backache. Ah, uh, thank you. Okay. Um, any other question? What is the meaning a burn? A burn is una quemadura. Okay. Una quemadura o quemada. That's a burn. Any other question? Uh, 
Teacher. <coughs> yes. Este ejercicio se parece a la, a la, a la lección 2.6. Uh -huh. ¿Verdad? Porque está ahí. Eh, 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 ya no la escuché. Eh, take, take, take some. La respuesta que vimos ayer. Ah, oh, yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, so uh, in this case, uh, I will give you some minutes for you to uh, match the problem with and some pieces of advice. For example, what should we do for a sore throat? Drink a lot, lot of liquids, a lot of, lot of liquids. Liquids, okay, drink a lot of liquids, okay. What else can we do for a sore throat? See a doctor. See a doctor, okay. Mm -hmm. What else? Get some medicine. Yes, get some medicine. So we have uh, three uh, pieces of advice for this problem, okay? So más de una puede funcionar en cada caso. So I'll give you some time for you to match the problem with some pieces of advice. Hi, se fueron o me fui. ¿Quién se fue? ¿Ustedes o yo? No, we are here. Estamos. Teacher, teacher, you are muted. <coughs> Eso. Apoya a mí me sacó mm. un momento porque no ya no los escuché. Sí, quizás eso pasó ah, en la internet. Uh -huh. A la teacher se. Ya, ya estaba pensando en el viernes yo teacher. Ay. ¿Qué? Ya estaba pensando en el viernes. Rosa, blanca, cargando. ¿Qué va a ver? No he visto noticias. La clase, teacher, y media vez llega a parar la grabación. Ay, no, 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 no. Ahí estoy viendo. Sí. Corta, se volvió a cortar. Ok. Que la sección 2.6 solo hay una que no le encontré la respuesta. La penúltima. The flu or a burn. I, I don't know. To see es la respuesta ahí, la de penúltima. To see. No, ese es 2.6, creo, donde van las respuestas. Tú sí se la tiene que pero, poner ahí. Que pero no, la, bueno, la, sí, te, todas y nada, ninguna. Pero... Ella está hablando de la plataforma. Ajá. Tú sí, tú sí creo que es en la plataforma. La cuatro creo que es. de la plataforma, ajá. Tú sí creo bueno, que Bueno, voy a volver la a de, probar. La antepenúltima es tú sí. Ajá, porque es que estoy viendo que estas respuestas que están acá son las que han salido en el ejercicio. En esa plataforma. Okay, ready? No yet, teacher. No yet. Okay. Uh. Esos son todos los síntomas de 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 flu. ¿Qué cosa? 
quiere acostar. Ya no va a acostar a ese nivel. Ok, ready? Cansada, ¿eh? Que se siente cansada. ¿no? Are you ready? Yeah. Ok, so uh, you're going to uh, go to the breakout rooms and then you're going to ask and answer depending to uh, what you have. For example, if I have... Um, Um, let's see, Jose, if I said, um, what should I do for a bad headache? What should I do for a bad headache? I, I'm not ready, que... miss. Ok, not ready. Ok, tienen que responder. Aquí tenemos un ejemplo de lo que vamos a hacer en el group work. Talk about the problems in part A, and give advice okay we have the example here what should i do for a sore throat then you say it's a good idea to get some medicine from the drugstore and it's important to drink lots of liquid so pueden utilizar it is important it's sometimes helpful and um, it is a good idea y luego an infinitive Okay, so you ask the okay. question and then the, the other person in the group is going to provide advice uh, using, vamos a estar utilizando la estructura con los uh, adjectives plus infinitive. Okay, is that clear? Yeah. Okay. okay. Yes. Antes tengo una pregunta. Para, para decir los problemas de salud, uno tiene que decir, I have a sore throat, I have a cough, I have, primero, en todos los síntomas que aparecen ahí, I have. You can do it like that, so you can say, I have a sore throat. Puede decir así, I have a sore throat, what can I do? O como está en la pregunta, what should I do? Porque estoy preguntando para mí, ¿verdad? What should I do? For a cough, for example. ¿Qué debería de hacer yo? What should I do for a backache? Uh -huh. O puede hacerlo como pregunta usted. Tengo tal cosa. I have a sore throat. Y luego pedimos las sugerencias. What should I do? Okay. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. Okay. So, any other question before I create the breakout rooms? No questions? No questions, teacher. Okay, here we go. Practice speaking. Hi. Okay. Hi. Empezamos. Hi. Hi. Sorry. Hi. Hi. <coughs> okay. <laughs> 
Ah, ok, empecemos. Tenía problemas con mi computer. Ok, can you see it on my screen? Yes. Ok. Um, yo comienzo, por ejemplo, le pregunto a Dalia. Y luego Dalia a Ibis. Y Ibis a Glenda. Ok. Ok. For example, what, what should I do for a back cake? Uh, it's important to go to bed and rest. Okay, okay. Excellent. Now you are uh, Ibis. Um, Ibis, what should I do for um, fever? Okay, it's a good idea to get some um, aspirin and get rest. Okay, thank you. Ahora Ibis, Glenda, Glenda, sorry. Glenda, Glenda, what should I do for? Don't worry. For yes. uh, for the flu. Mm. <clears throat> it is important that um, you take um no you see a doctor. Okay. Okay. And you drink a lot of liquid. liquid. Okay. I think. Thank you. Okay. Ahora, Glenda, hágame una pregunta a mí. Ok. Should I have a... Should I have a fever? What should? No, What no, should? no. A fever, a fever, no. No, es que lo quería cambiar así como dijo la Miss, que también podemos preguntar como que si tengo algunos síntomas, puedo... Puede que tenga alguna enfermedad, algo así. I have, I have a fever. What should I do for that? Ah, okay. uh -huh. oh, yeah. Thank ah, you. Okay. No, ah, the question is, yes. is yourself. Yes. Okay. Yes, is, is by myself. Yeah, okay. okay. I I have a, a toe cage, toe, toe the cage. Uh, why you, no, no, toe the cage, dolor de muela, dolor de dientes. Ah, tooth cage. Toothcake, yes, thank you. I have a toothcake. What you, um, what you, what is the sugerencia? What should, what should I do? What should I do for it, Walter? Okay, you should, ah, sorry. Uh, in this case, it's important to visit a dentist, uh, even to, to, to drink uh, or get some medicine for toothache. Thank yeah? you. Okay, thank you. Okay, I have a, a burn, Dahlia. What should I do for it? Um, it's important to see a doctor and put some ointment on it. Okay, okay. Okay, Dalia, hi, Ibis. Ibis, I have a cough. What should I do for, for it? Okay, uh, you should get some some medicine and visit and to get the doctor. Not to go, I said, to go with the doctor. Okay. Or to visit. No sé. <laughs> um, you can uh, say to see. It's important or it's a good idea to see a doctor or to visit the doctor. Both are correct. Puede decir to see okay. or to visit. 
Thank you, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. Um, I have um, a fever. What should I do for? What should I do? Can you repeat that? The question is, it is to me. Okay. Yeah. Um, Evie's. I get that you that uh, it's a good idea that you uh, drink uh, that you uh, take uh, some aspirin. Okay, thank you. Okay. okay. Mm, Walter, if I have a um if i have a, the flu what you should uh, recommend to me for it uh you need to to drink a lot of chicken stock even to <laughs> even to <laughs> with a <car> even, <laughs> yes <laughs> even to drink a lot of liquid and to rest a lot okay thank you okay i uh, take como sería lo tomar en cuenta i take a take on it i take on it it's I, correct i, I, take, I it. take it into account ah, okay i, oh, I take uh -huh. it yes remember that into it's account. Like, como in future i'll i'll take it into oh. account Yes. I'll okay. take it into account. Thank you. Excellent. Thank you, Walter. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Um, for you, Talia, um, what, um, okay. what, should, what should I do for um, a backache? Oh, sorry, a cough. Um, if some helpful to take some vitamin C and drink a lot of liquids and to go to bed and rest. Okay. Teacher, otra forma de preguntar podría ser, por ejemplo, if I have, if I have a fever, what should I do? Yes. It's possible. It's yes, possible. That's possible. Mm -hmm. Okay. For okay. example, if you get the vaccine and, and you want to ask, um, ya le acaban de poner la vacuna y no sabe si le va a dar fiebre, entonces le pregunta al doctor si me da fiebre, ¿qué debo de hacer? Okay. If I get de hecho, fever, what que... should I do? Es la forma en la que intenté preguntar, teacher, no sé si no... <laughs> <laughs> no lo hice bien. Sí, es el, if I, ajá, uh -huh, if I. If I have the uh -huh. flu, what should you do? What recommend? should, um, what should I do? ¿Qué debo de hacer yo? Oh, what, what should I do? Ajá, uh -huh. that's mm -hmm. correct. What should okay. I do? Y, okay. si, y si es la pregunta para la persona, ¿qué me recomiendas? Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Mm -hmm. What do you recommend? Ok. Ok, Dalia, ahí dice. It is, I have a backache. What okay. should I do for it? It's important to to get a rest and to to get some to take some medicine. Thanks for your recommendation. 
to work from. Okay. Le pregunto a... Glenda. Glenda. A me. Glenda, okay. Um, what should I do for a call? Um, it's sometimes helpful uh, that you... Put the number called where? Sería correcto, verdad? I don't understand. Put in, put it under cold weather. If you have a a cold, me dijo, verdad? Yeah. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank no you. sé si sería correcta la recomendación o la termino de matar. For, which one is that one? For a cold, put the put your feet in cold or in warm water or what? Algo así entendí. Water. water. Put it put in under cold water. Uh -huh. And the letter F. Sería a hot water or no sé. A hot water. Hot water. Uh -huh. Teacher, it's correct. Say, uh, food head, food heck. Put it. Food heck. Food egg. Food egg. So food egg. Uh -huh. de, del pie. Yeah. Dolor de pies. Egg. Oh, uh, you say my my foot aches. Yes. Es correct. Okay. Yes. Uh -huh. Teacher, y otra forma de preguntar podría ser así. Eh, in, I have a some a some trot. No, sorry. I have a sore trot. Walter, what what you should what? Ah, perdón, me trabé. <laughs> I have a sore trot. What do you should? No, no, no. What should eh, you do? a uh, no, es que quería preguntar de otra forma. What should I do? Que, quiero preguntarlo, teacher, así como que este, tengo esto. What do you think? Or what do eh, you que, recommend que, me? Que, que, ajá, ¿Qué pensaría él que puede... Eh, eh, es como decir, como, ¿qué como crees ver? que puedo hacer yo? Sería ajá, lo mismo de que... What, what do should you... I do? Um, what do you think I should do? Ah, ¿Qué okay. piensas tú que debería hacer yo? Uh -huh. What do you think I should do? Vaya, voy a intentar este, otra vez eh, estructurarla. I have a sort of, Walter. What do you think that I should I do? Is correct me? What yeah. should I do? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mm -hmm. yes. You should to, to go to the hospital. You probably get... COVID-19. Oh, that thing is getting worse. <laughs> <laughs> when it happened, a uh, sore throat, it's probably you get a COVID-19. <laughs> and then you are sent to the gripario. <laughs> 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 okay, let's go back to Thank the you. next section. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Okay, I said that you were practicing. You did a, a very, very good job with the recommendations that you were providing. Uh, so you have any question about the, the practice that you did or something that come up with the practice? No questions? Sure. Mm -hmm. uh, estamos ahí en el, en el grupo discutiendo sobre uñero. <risa> uñero sí o sea uñero ahí en... cómo sería en este caso la uña encarnada <risa> sí sí, 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 sí. No. my god sé decir ampolla sé decir pero <risa> menos eso <risa> fingernail <risa> okay <risa> bad nails bad nails 
Y, y ya, yeah, eso es uñero, uñero existirá en, en un... Ya veo investigando, teacher. Fingernail, no, but fingernail es, es la uña. Vamos yeah. a buscarlo como imágenes. <risa> yeah, it's like, no puede ser eso. Fingernail es la uña de... Nail dip. Fingernail... Um, I see that it's a fingernail infection. Um, and let's see. Yes, it's a fingernail infection. Escriban yes. en el, busquen en Google, pongan fingernail infection. Y le dan imágenes, ahí salen, es exacto un uñero. Fingernail <laughs> infection. <laughs> The classmate suffering about that. <laughs> <laughs> But fingernail infection. Y si es del pie. Jack, miss. Ya, ya, guacala. No, ya no. Ya. Awful. Awful. Okay. Let's see. It's a fingernail infection. Um, in grow. Okay. In grow to nail. Ajá. Si es en el pie. Porque fingers son los dedos de las manos. Uh -huh. Entonces, en el caso que el uñero sea en la mano, es a fingernail infection. O, como nos ha puesto Ricardo acá, si es en el pie, es ingrown to nail. Uh -huh. es como, ajá, es una uña encarnada, ¿verdad? Uh -huh. Para el, el dedo del pie, acuérdense que esos son toes. So, de uh -huh. ahí viene el to nail, en el dedo del pie. <risa> el, porque en el pie no son fingers, fingers son en las manos. Okay. <laughs> okay, it's good. Aprendimos algo todos. <laughs> That's excellent. Okay, so uh, thank you for joining today's section. Uh, we will continue this topic tomorrow. Remember to work on your exercise in the platform and sleep well. Rest a lot and see you tomorrow. See you tomorrow. Thank you. See you tomorrow. Okay. Bye. Tomorrow, Bye. Bye. See you tomorrow. Bye. Good evening. Good night, everybody. Bye. Good night, everybody. Bye. See you tomorrow. Good night. Good night.